You're watching the PIX11 News at 4. A dramatic new trend among girls who are going through puberty earlier than ever. Some developing breasts at the age of six. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Erin LeBeau. Well, Corey Chambers in for Tamsin. The recent article in the New York Times says that the medical community really is looking at several reasons why some girls may be hitting puberty at such a young age, including stress, obesity, and chemicals. Yeah, and joining us to talk about it is Dr. Graham Frank. He a he's a pedi pediatric endocrinologist at the Cohen Children's Medical Center. Thank you for being here. Pleasure, nice to be here. So when, let's just go ahead and jump in and break down the difference. When most people think about puberty, they think about little girls or hitting their menstrual cycle. What's the difference and how early are we talking about? So puberty is really the process where a little girl will eventually develop into a sexually mature, reproductively capable, capable adult. So the onset of puberty usually starts from anywhere from 8 to 13. But when we're talking about the start of puberty, we're just talking about breast development. Usually what happens is the period comes about two to two and a half years after the start of breast development. So traditionally, the normal time for puberty is considered when a girl can be as early as eight and as late as 13 for the start of breast development. And then with periods coming about two to two and a half years later. Okay, okay. so uh, the graphic on, on the screen says uh, puberty is young as six or seven, which I know is young. It, I know uh, historically it's young. It's younger than we've seen before. So why? What are the reasons? Uh, you know, is it is it you know what's in our food? Is it you know is it something else? What's going on? So yes. Yeah, so if a child enters puberty before age eight, we consider that precocious puberty, and then we need to look for reasons. Now, in rare situations, you can find serious intracranial pathologies. People can have some sort of growth in their brain, which stimulates the pituitary gland to stimulate puberty. But I think what we're talking about here is this trend where girls are going into puberty younger and younger. And there are a number of thoughts. We don't really know the exact reason. One of them is obesity. We know that there's many studies that have shown that the more overweight and obese girls are, the earlier they'll go into puberty. But it's not the only answer because there are some children who are not obese who have early puberty. Then, of course, there are stresses. We know that stress is a risk factor for a puberty. And finally, there are, as you alluded to, chemicals. There are chemicals in our environment. They are known as endocrine disruptors, and they're used a lot in the plastics manufacturing. And these are thought to interfere with certain hormonal processes that put you at risk for developing early puberty. So, Dr. Frank, kind of break down for us, what type of possible impact could, you know, developing or going through puberty this early have on a girl's, you know, physical and mental health? So uh, we break them down into physical um, and, and psychosocial or mental health, as you de described. So normally what happens is that children grow up until about um, their normal age as pre pubertal children. Then they grow a whole lot during puberty. They have a pu pubertal growth spurt. And at the end of puberty, they stop growing. So it follows that the earlier you start the puberty, the earlier you're going to finish your growing. So when these little girls of six and seven go into puberty, they're very tall because they are having a growth spurt. Meanwhile, they are going to finish growing early and may land up very short as adults. The other thing is we know that children who have early puberty have um, increased risks later on in life of certain cancers, such as endometrial cancer and breast cancer, because they have a longer lifetime exposure to estrogen because what happened is that their puberty happened early. But then there's also the psychosocial impact. Um, it's very, very difficult for a young child to be dealing with changes in their body. And we know that um, children who have precocious puberty have higher rates of depression, anxiety, um, substance abuse later on, and a lot of psychological problems. So we really need to support these children. And when children have puberty in a precocious age, in other words, starting with breast development before age eight, we will actually work them up and there are therapies that we can use to halt the puberty. Okay, so explain that, uh, the halt, because, all right, it, it's a lot, you just explained right there. So to actually halt, is, is that safe? How does that work? It, it just, I, this is the first time I'm hearing of that. So the puberty that we're talking about, which is the vast majority, is what we call central precocious puberty. What happens is the pituitary gland, which at the base of the brain, stimulates the ovaries to make estrogen. Now, what we can do is we can actually give them a medication 
which will actually confuse the pituitary gland so it doesn't know that it's um, being stimulated. And what happens is the puberty stops. This is a therapy that can be given as injections. It's given every three months. Or there's actually a little implant that you can place in the arm. This and sounds really be... scary yeah, to me. I, 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 like, I, I'm just, and look, you're a doctor. I'm just a guy, and I'm hearing this for the yeah. first time. This sounds like kind of frightening, right? I mean, because we're talking about a natural process, and you're saying, well, hold up. We, we can, we can, we, 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 we can inject it. something. We can do this. We can stop this natural process of starting unnaturally early. It's a lot. Well, I think that you have to make a distinction. Because, of, because puberty is a natural process, yes, all children will eventually turn into reproductively capable, mature adults. But just because it's happening early doesn't mean to say it's normal. And I feel very strongly that when children are starting before age eight, that's not considered normal. I think there are very significant psychological and potentially physical implications which we've spoken about, and I think that these do warrant a discussion with the family. They don't need therapy because it's going to make them better. But I think we need to have an honest discussion with the families and say there is an option. And I must tell you that most of the most of the parents that I deal with, when they're dealing with a six, seven-year-old within puberty, they want to do everything they can to stop that puberty because you just have to imagine that this is a child who's growing up, developing, maturing. Meanwhile, their friends are not, they're the only one. They stand out, and it's an enormous stress for the child. So, doctor, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, what would you say to parents whose kids are going through this at such a young age? Well, I think that I want to reassure them that there are options that we can do to stop it. However, there are families, for whatever reason, may choose to allow the process to go on normally. What I would strongly recommend is they bring up the topic with their children and on a repeated basis, because some children may not feel that it's okay to talk about a topic as sensitive as puberty. The other thing I would recommend is they get a book from the library and read it with their parents so that they can go over the terminology so they can be all on the same page using the same words to describe these different things. And the analogy that I use is I explain to children, you know, if there's a party, some people arrive early at the party, some people arrive on time, and some people arrive late. Mm -hmm. Similarly, when your body changes, we call that puberty, and some people start on an average time, but some people start early, and they are one of the people who are starting early. And then I go on to say that, you know, that this is a normal process, but we have to look after your body and we can, we're there to help you. So, and the parents should verbalize this, that they're there to help them. And also they should warn them that, you know, there are emotional um, mood changes that occur and you can warn the child to say that there may be times that you feel these unusual feelings and just to alert them to the fact that there may be some other feelings that they that they have, which they really can't uh, deal with at, the, at this time, but being having an open relation to, with their families will, will allow them to talk about these these things. You know, I think uh, having these conversations uh, is a very important Eye part opening. with your child, with your doctor, as a family. Dr. Frank, thank you so much for joining us here, uh, really enlightening us on, on what's going on out there. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks very much.